Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back here to Gosmata, Papua New Guinea. My name is Ryan. We're heading back to Hoskins, just 21 minute flight. Go get started because it's a really nice day out and I've got a long ways yet to go. All right, low start. TAS system test, okay. My ITT below 200 before introducing my fuel. What I mean by that is basically the temperature inside the terminal needs to drop below 200 degrees Celsius before I introduce my fuel. Otherwise, it'll have like a like a mini compressor stall and go boom, really loud. I think that's what's going on at least. You guys can leave a comment below if I'm wrong. Everybody always seems to. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no. A full order V2 on. Alternator on. Auxiliary bus on. Morsby 8861, November Tango, Zulu Taxi. I'll try him in the air. All stations cost model 127 decimal one. Kodiak November Tango Zulu will be departing runway 27 for Hoskins below 5,000. Caps and selectors are good. Pause, we'll turn Betty off for takeoff. Switches and instruments, like I said, we'll just go up to 5,000 feet. Our weight is 5,500, so we'll rotate at 55 and 64 if we have to come back in for any reason. Caps are going up to 20, and we'll start setting up our rudder trim as well as our elevator trim. While that's doing that, we'll start taxiing out. Probe on landing and taxi light. There's a really cool World War II bomber right there. Every time I go by, I mention it, but I just think it's that cool that I have to mention it because it's just sitting there and you can climb all over it and, you know, get cuts and everything and nobody cares. I absolutely love this place because on my bucket list, I know it's kind of a stupid thing to have on your bucket list, but my bucket list was to land at an airstrip that went right to the ocean like this. I did one yesterday at Biala and I have this one as well, so really cool I think, just awesome. Get lined up first. All right, if we're not 50 knots by the end of the taxi, or the correction, the parking bay, We'll stop and remain on the runway, full reverse. If we're going off, we'll just continue straight ahead. Cut off, pull off, and shut off. Mer or masters and crack my door. After takeoff, pitch ready five, right hand turn immediately to lower terrain. Well, the beach. Off, I mean, consider EPL, consider feather. If those don't work, then cut off, pull off, and shut off. Emergencies, masters, and crack my door. Ignition, inlet, and lights. Star, I guess we'll have to do in the air because we just can't get a hold of anybody this morning. Ignition condition, flaps 20 fuel and harnesses. 26 degrees out. So 1680, 1630 for 1680. We'll make sure we don't go into the yellow on torque because we are sea level. Speeds alive. There's 50 continuing, and there's rotate already before the parking bay. I want to show you guys. There was a boat right out here just the other day. Let's see if he's still out here in this bay. I don't see him, so he must have moved. There was a boat out here looking for an old World War II plane just the other day, but it looks like they might have already left or maybe just moved. For 85, we'll go 10 degrees of flaps. Yeah, I'm not seeing him out here anymore. Over 100, we've got zero degrees and bring our prop on back to 2,000 RPM and start making our turn towards Hoskins. Really incredible nice day out this morning. Nice high overcast, keeps it nice and cool. According to Wendy, the forecast was pretty crap here this morning. It was saying that it was rainy and everything, but ended up just being high, high overcast, and that's what made it look like it was raining. 
bring our ITT to 720 for our climb, just up to 5,000 feet. Now that we're up and out, we'll see if we can't get a hold of Fort Moresby. Moresby 8861, November Tango, Zulu departure. Okay, what do I want to try? Let's try 5565. Got a whole list of HF radio frequencies we can try today. Moresby 5565, November Tango, Zulu departure. And the Tango Zulu Monster, go ahead. November Tango, Zulu departed Gosmata, 2 POB, time 2 4, tracking 3 5 9 on climb below 5000, estimating Hoskins 4 5. November Tango Zulu, confirm Below 5,000, November Tango Zulu. November Tango Zulu, uh, What an incredible day. I've been here now for two days, Monday and Tuesday. It's Wednesday now. And it's just been really, really poor weather lately. It rained all last night, but thankfully it rained all last night because that means it's usually a really, really nice morning because it's rained itself out. I'm heading out that way here once I land in about another half hour or so. Looks really, really nice out towards Garoka, so that'll be a nice flight to end the day already by noon. If you guys have a burning question that I haven't been able to get to in one of the comments down below, check out the link, just the first link of the, in the description called Reply Bank. It's a way you guys can send me a video question or just type it up and guaranteed way that I'll send you back um, an answer, unless it's completely inappropriate. But I'm not one of those yet. So if you guys really do have a question you want to know, I haven't been able to answer it, just haven't had time, I will send you a personalized video answer back on that Reply Bank. We're now 5,000, so let's bring our torque on back to 1250. And then just verifying that my fuel flow is at least 320 or below, because that's what I do all my fuel planning on. So some of you guys have wondered how much, how much fuel burn does the Kodiak burn? How much does it cost? Um, I don't exactly know what fuel is. Operating cost is probably around 700 bucks an hour. And our fuel, what we do, we're flying around is at 320. So most of our, most of our flying is, is at 320, unless we're basically flying at like 12,000 feet, 11, 12,000 feet for at least about an hour. And then I do my fuel flow right around like 300 or something. Let me actually see what I actually do. I do it times 0.5. So actually, let me just show you on here. So if it's like a 21 minute flight, let me show you how we actually figure out how much fuel we do. If it's a 21 minute flight and it's both ways, so it's times it by two, so basically to Gosmata and back. I'm gonna times it by the minutes by 5.3, which is basically 320 an hour. It comes up to 222 pounds of fuel. So I also need to add in a circuit when I get here and a circuit back here. So 30 pounds per circuit, so there's another 60 pounds. And then we also want to land back in Hoskins with one hour of fuel, so that's 320 pounds. So my minimum fuel for this flight is 600 pounds. Now, if it's a crappy day out and it's IFR, I have to land with my IFR minimums, or have my IFR minimums, which is another half hour. So add another 160 pounds to that. So if it was an IFR day, it would be 760 pounds is my minimum amount of fuel. So that's how we figure that out. Going back to Garoka, though, it's a bit different because I'll be flying back at um, 12,000 feet. It is a 124-minute flight. So I'm going to times that by 5 instead of 5.3. And then I don't really have a lot of weight, so I'll just automatically add on my um, IFR fuel and then plus one circuit in Garoka. But even usually we don't because we usually just do straight into a base and a final. So basically 1,100 to 1,130 pounds is my minimum fuel to get back to Garoka with IFR reserves. Vertical track. Vertical track. All right, that's my cue to go on down. I'm just going to set up for 500 feet per minute just because I have a passenger on board. And I try to keep everything at like 
as smooth as possible. My goal with passengers is for them to not remember the flight. I'm hoping that when I leave someday, all the people I've flown for are like, yeah, I really don't remember any flights with Ryan. That's my goal, is to not have any, oh, I thought I was going to die one day kind of flight. Typically, we're going to probably land on runway 1-2 in Hoskins, which is over the water. And I, if I don't have passengers, I really like to try to land like right at the 500, like land and stop by the 500-foot marker, which is just a testament to how cool this airplane really is. And no, I'm not an affiliate. I don't get paid to say anything about the Kodiak. Although if you're from Kodiak, maybe you should hire me someday as an affiliate. I'm just kidding. But seriously. Anyways, I do like to try to do landing challenges, not only at hostels, but at all my places. I always, like, it's something fun. It gives you, keeps you, I don't know, I guess more sharp and trying to, like, land exactly, exactly where you want to. But because I'm a passenger, I won't do that today, just so I don't have to, like, slam on the brakes and slam the airplane on the ground and all that good stuff. So, my goal is to have a smooth landing today in the Hoskins where they can barely feel it. That's the goal. I don't really care where I land. I have an idea about the, the, the area. So we'll probably land around the 500 foot marker. But again, my goal is to try to get the smoothest landing I possibly can. All stations, Hoskins, 127.1, one, November Tango, Zulu, 18 miles to the south, 4,000 on descent, circuit 4 to Hoskins. I just saw Mike Charlie Whiskey up at caving yesterday and actually went and talked to the pilots and got inside their cockpit just to take a look around and man am I thankful for the Kodiak. Mike Charlie Whiskey. It has so much better avionics like I mean it's like a 1982 a plane or something like that I think they were saying. But anyways, yeah, I'm really thankful that we have the G1000 with the information that we have available to us. It just makes life flying in PNG a thousand times easier with this type of avionics than what they've got in their airplane. Four minutes out, about 11 miles. Collectors and brakes, our TAWS is turned off, our VREF. 5400, so 63 knots. Ooh, man, it smells like rotten eggs. There's some volcanoes over there that just have a sulfury smell. Ooh, that stinks so nasty. You always think that it's your passenger at first, that they farted, but then you remember, oh, no, nope, it's not. It's that volcano over there. Our lights and inlets, we'll do our lights, we're a bit fast for our inlet yet. If we do need to go around, power up 20 degrees, pitch for 73, maneuvers required and reset ITT to 740. All stations Austin, South Upper Tango Zulu, 900 miles to the south, 2500. We'll be flying overhead to join at left downwind runway 12 Hoskins. Well, actually, you know what, the winds are kind of right behind me. I might just enter into a left base for runway 30 instead. I'll get me on the ground a little bit quicker. All stations Hoskins, I'm up to Zulu. Correction, we'll be joining into a left base runway 30 Hoskins. Moresby 5565, November Tango Zulu in the circuit Hoskins, cancel SAR. November Tango Zulu in this circuit, Hoskins, cancel SAR. November Tango Zulu. Wow, that's hard to hear. And yes, it's hard for me to hear too. Our prop forward, our SAR is done, our light and inlet are now done. Top and harness is good. Degrees of flaps. And it looks like there are no airplanes on the ramp. All stations Hoskins, November Tango Zulu, joining left base 30 Hoskins. 20 degrees of flaps. Turn final at 500. 
Well, they're setting up on a very perpendicular base here. We want 73 knots on base. Oh, I'm gonna get my airspeed by pitching for my airspeed and then power for altitude. I'm gonna turn at 500 feet. Here's my 73. Full flaps checklist is complete. I've got a lawnmower at the end of the runway. 500. Oh, a really, really nice day. I love when it's overcast here. Otherwise, it is so stinking hot. Got a couple of birds at the end of the runway. Looks like they're moving out now, though. Let's see how smooth I can get this. Just slowly, slowly get it onto the not very. <laughs> I'm just keeping it in high idle and just zooming down the runway, high speed taxi at 50 knots. It's about a mile down the end of the runway. Thanks so much guys for joining yet again. Uh, I'm heading back to Garoka now. Won't be filming that one because that's a two hour flight. Like I was saying earlier, if you do have a question, check out Reply Bank. Uh, you're sure to get an answer back from me, a video answer back. And um, give the video a thumbs up if you thought it was worthy of a thumbs up. And consider coming back, subscribing. I've got videos every week, two times a week, Sundays and Thursdays. Move off, landing light off, and then taxi off a of pulse just on regular. Thanks for watching and welcome to Hoskins.